Okay. <coughs> Pardon me. The stream should be live. Sorry for the delay. Just pulling this stuff up now. And uh, took a little longer to get things running than I thought it would, so my apologies. Hello, Father Son. Good to see you. And uh, give me just a second here to get things up and working. And things seem to be working. Hello, Ray. Good to see you. And if things are working the way I want them to, this should switch our views. Left view. And right view. And front view. Perfect. OK. Go ahead and get fired up here. Strobe, battery, fuel pump. Make sure full rich. Prime. Back out. Might have to get the audio adjusted here for a second. We'll find out. I'm going to just check and see how that audio is showing up on the stream real quick. It looks like it's okay. Let's. It looks like you guys can hear it all right. Might give it a little more volume. Morning, TJ. So today we're going to be on Pilot Edge. I'm going to go ahead and log us onto that now. Connected to Pilot Edge. Alternators, avionics. And we are going to fuel pump off. We're going to make a flight today from Olympia, Washington, up to Everett, Payne Field. We're going to do this IFR. I put the flight plan in the uh, notes. Basically, we're going to fly uh, whatever departure they give us out of Everett. Then Victor 287, which goes all the way to the uh, Everett Payne Field VOR. We're going to request the RNAV 16, the Yankee 16 right, which means we'll uh, probably get direct to IWOC and then fly the procedure turn and then come in and fly the step downs. Uh, we're going to go up 7,000 feet. Eventually we'll get down to 3,000 then our step down to our final approach fix is 2,000 and then um, we actually can come down on a glide slope for this. But since we're going to be uh, and we have LPV in this uh, simulation uh, but our decision altitude if we fly LPV is going to be 770 feet. Uh, let's get these on. It's all working. And uh, there's been a series of problems with the sim recently, but I think I got them all worked out. And uh, it's been driving me crazy. But I think I've got it all figured out now, which is good. And we've got IFR a lot of the way. we got fog here, mist in Everett, and it is uh, latest METAR is IFR Broken 500 overcast 1,100 in uh, pain. What were those minimums again? 770, that's 200 feet over the ground. So we should be good. Broken 500, break out just before we're supposed to land. And the flight, once we're up, should take about an hour, give or take. Uh, we are simulating the SR-20 today. And... Uh, that's about all I know. Glad this sounds good. Glad to hear that. Okay. Got some work to do here real quick. I'll swipe the chat out of the way. Pull up our taxi diagram here for Olympia. 135.725. See you later. 
ceiling 9 or 100 broken, 2100 overcast, temperature 8, dew point 7, altimeter 3024, arriving and departing runway 17, ILS runway 17 approach in use, read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions, advise on initial contact you have information echo. echo. Olympia Airport, 8 is information echo, 1644 Zulu, wind 240 at 3, visibility 2 and a half, mist, ceiling 9 or 100 broken, 2100 overcast, yeah, three zero temperature 8, dew point 7, altimeter 3024, yeah, arriving and departing feet, runway and 17, so ILS runway 17 approach. And we're going to want uh, ground 121.6. And tower is going to be 124.4. Something in the simulator has been resetting, <laughs> resetting my uh, altimeter, my, bar my barometer. And so I have to keep resetting it, which is a bit of a pain. I haven't quite figured out what's causing that to happen yet. It seems to happen more at the beginning of the flight, and it just happened again. So I've set up a hotkey here to take it back to 2992. And I think it has to do with the Flight Illusions radio stack somehow. But it's a problem I can live with. Lean for taxi here. Okay, let's switch over to ground 121.6. We're on ground. I'm not hearing anything. I believe we're connected to Pilot Edge. Let me just double check that. If I go to the Pilot Edge website real quick. And make sure we're online, and that we can see ourselves on the map. Yep, there we are, and it has us on 121.6, so that's good. It's just quiet. I don't. I hope I don't have the volume all the way down. I don't think I do. Here, let's just d double check. We can do a check uh, the METAR over here, 135.725. Nope, Ceiling. that's fine. 124.4. Okay, I haven't done a lot of flights where we go into IMC in these with the three screens. It's really pretty realistic. Um, so that should be fun to do. 124.4. Let's get ready for our clearance here. Where are we? We're Olympia. Olympia Ground, Cirrus 15 Juliet Golf is uh, IFR to Everett Payne Field, stump file. Number 15 Juliet Golf, Olympia Ground, clearance on a quest. Okay, good. I can hear him okay. Let me know if you guys can hear him okay. If not, I can turn that volume up a little bit. Hi, well, good to see you. I've been streaming just live. I haven't been storing them online, and uh, I've been just really busy. I've been posting a whole lot. I've been flying quite a bit, but I haven't been uh, streaming very much. Uh, projector. Uh, pr the, okay, so, Will, if you go to my website on the glideslope.net, uh, there's a tab in the sim. It shows everything that's in the sim, and it's a 100 diameter, or it's 100 diameter, it's a 100 width on the angle projection screen. And I use a uh, ultra short throw projector, although large flat screen TVs are getting so inexpensive, I could probably sell the short throw. I remember 15G at Golf, go to the Payne Airport, Yelm 5 departure, Rena Vectors Olympia, and then as filed. 18, 3000, departure frequency 120.4, squawk 3135. Okay, clear to PAE, Yelm 5 departure, radar vectors in OLM and as filed. 3000 on departure, frequency 120.4, squawk 3135, November 15, Julie Golf. We're at 15, Julie Golf, feedback, correct. Okay, we're squawking. And uh, 3000 on departure. Get that bugged. Get that bugged over here too. 
Okay. And uh, Yelm 5 departure. So let's look up that departure. The Yelm 5, if you're following along at home, you have access to, UF, to either the FAA or the Jepson charts. You can check and see what this is, but basically it is a uh, obstacle departure uh, that will make sure we don't bump in anything here on takeoff. And the Yelm 5, I can actually put on the map, but I'll just save it over here in my binder. And it's going to prescribe what we're doing here. And they said 1-7 is going to be our takeoff. So 1-7, we're going to turn left. Climb on heading is 064 degrees to 3,000 feet. If we lose comms, that's our plan. And then radar vectors is filed. And we need to maintain a climb speed uh, for this SID. And uh, yeah, for, on for the 1-7, it's uh, Standard minimums, climb of 210 feet per nautical Number mile, 2200. That's fine. 327 at Charlie, uh, taxi uh, via Charlie. Climb 720 feet to 500 Charlie, via Charlie, per nautical mile. We're good with all of that. Our climb uh, is about 900 to 1,000 feet a minute here when we're climbing at VY, so we will be good with that. So we're okay to make the climb. And we basically only have to fly. The only thing we have to really worry about is turning left flying on 064 up to 3,000 feet, and then he'll give us radar vectors, and he probably won't give us radar vectors to the Olympia VOR. He'll probably just put us right on Victor 287. So let's go ahead and get our flight plan in. I should have this being broadcast over so that you guys can see it. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, f I'll cross fill it down here to this one so you guys can see it, but I'm using this as COM1, so I'm going to start here first. So I'm going to delete this and we're gonna go we'll start with uh, OLM and then we're gonna take Victor 287 which really takes us up to this waypoint which is R-P-A-R-P-E-E. -E. We'll put that in next. And then it takes us to Victor 287 takes us directly to the uh, PAE VOR. And then KPAE is our destination. Okay, and now I can cross fill that down here. Okay, so there's our flight plan. You guys yeah, have it there. Yeah, come on, Tower, Baron 516 Delta Mike, calling short, Charlie, Alpha. And then we always want to do a... Uh, Number 516 Delta Mike, yeah, come on, Tower, Baron 516 Delta Mike, take off. And that looks good. for takeoff six Do a map check up here as well. Yep, that all looks correct. Okay, we could enter the Yelm 5 departure, but it's just a heading and an altitude. If it was a more complicated SID, we would enter it into the GPS, but right now we don't really need to worry about that. Okay, let me see if we have any other questions or comments here in the live chat. Uh, it's been a while, Frank. Yeah, it has been. It's good to see you. That's true. I. Um, I uh, mod the, the actual model in Plane Maker and X-Plane. Here's a little just to see you. Good to see you. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so we've got our flight plan in here. We're ready to go there. We've got our departure. We've got our clearance. We are squawking VFR. We might as well go ahead and bug our heading. We're going to fly 064 according to this SID. Oh, i got to click over into this. Sorry, guys. We got that bugged. VSI, you can go to bug that at 700, but I'll just fly VX on the way out. And we've still got 3024 on the barometer. And we'll go OLM. And let's go ahead and switch tanks while we're at it. 
Okay, and let's start our timer. So we know it's been 30 minutes. Okay, we're still on ground, so let's go ahead and tell them that we are ready to taxi. Olympia ground, 1-5 Julie Golf, we've got Echo, and uh, we're ready to taxi IFR. We're at the uh, GA parking. Number 15J Golf Olympia Ground, runway 17, taxi via Echo Bravo. 17 Echo Bravo, 15J Golf. Okay. And I just want to make sure this is working again. Should be able to see out the left window. Should be able to see out the right window. Should be able to see out the front window. Number 6 Delta Mike, contact departure. What are the departure 6 Mike? Okay, um, um, uh, MP, uh, yeah, email, you can email. Uh, if you go to the website on the glideslope.net, there's ways to, my email address is there. I'm very excited for Michael Alf Simulator 2020. Uh, Number 516, Delta Mike, radar contact, the, Yakima altimeter, um, I thought about participating in the uh, beta, but decided not to, I just don't have time. All right, I got a taxi here, guys, so I'll be back on the chat in a second. We're going to 17 via Echo Bravo. Where are we here? Okay. Car coming. And I'm going to test the screen here and see that this is working correctly because I can't quite see what you guys are seeing. Yeah, good. Number 1128, Open Center. Roger, just envy the surf for three arrivals, San Francisco, altimeter 3018. All right, that looks good. Just do a quick little run up right here before we go any farther. Seventeen hundred RPM. Left mags. Right mags. Looks good. Load up and electrical system. Everything looks good. Back it off. Might as well just do the quick pre-flight while we're at it before uh, take off. Roll check, everything's working, flight instruments are set, PFD is set, flaps 50%. Fuel pump is the boost, mixture full rich, lights, doors, landing taxi, strobe, nav, we're good. It's going to be a standard takeoff, we're going to rotate at 65, we're going to be going 50 knots by the time we reach runway 1826, or else we're going to abort. The uh, emergency plan is land straight ahead if we have an engine out before 400. 402,000 are pulling caps immediately. And uh, 2,000 above, we're going to evaluate. Okay. All right. Good to see you. Sim Captain Mike, good to see you. Okay. Departure is 120.4. Got tower on. We're going 120.4. And again, departure here, we are going to fly 064 and climb 3000. Olympia Tower, Sirius 15 Julie Golf, holding short, uh, 17 at Bravo, ready to go. Number 15 Julie Golf, Olympia Tower, runway 17, clear for takeoff. 17, clear for takeoff, 15 Julie Golf. Mm. 
Nobody in final. As far as we can tell, nobody downrange. We should be in IMC here pretty quickly, so we're going to be ready to fly off the PFD. Full power. RPMs is expected. Engine instruments are in the green. Airspeed's alive on the center line. 50 knots before our takeoff point. We're good to go. 65 knots. Rotate. Let her climb to 86. And we're going to climb at 86 to 400 feet. Our altimeter reset again. 0-2-4. Number 15J Golf, contact departure. Go to departure, 15J Golf. Okay, flaps coming up. Set departure, Sirius 15J Golf is on the Yelm 5, 600, climbing 3000. 15J Golf, Seattle departure, radar contact, climbing maintain 7000. 7,000, 1,5 Julie, go. Okay, we're making that turn now to 064. Number 516 Delta Mike, contact Seattle Center 126.6. 126.66, correct. Okay, not really any visual references at this point. Okay, let's make sure we've written down 7,000. Number 516 Delta Mike, Seattle Center, Yak, my altimeter 3021. Okay, let's get trimmed out a little bit here. Okay, we're in the soup. Number 15 Julie Golf, trumpeting 340, John Victor 287. 340 to 287, 15 Julie Golf. Hey, I saw a question about the PC specs. Uh, it's a bit old. It's a four-year-old PC now. If you go to onthegladeslope.net, I've got all my specs there. Uh, it's a qu four quad, overclocked a little bit. Got a little wind here. Eleven four was released today. I'm running the final release candidate, so I'm glad they've taken it final. Scott, good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, let's run our climb checklist real quick. This is the same checklist I use in the real airplane. Power is said, make sure full rich fuel pump. We're going to keep it on. Airspeed looks good. Flaps are up. 
Mr. Nesman, sir, everything's Number 1128, contact North Cal approach 121.3. I had somebody, a buddy in the sim yesterday, and he really had the aileron trim going. There we go. Uh, good afternoon, approach, November 103. Okay. Descending via the uh, Surfer 3 rifle. There goes our... And currently at uh, flight level 200. There goes our barometer again. Number 1128, North Gallup approach, Roger. Information Alpha is current. San Francisco altimeter 3018, expect ILS 28 left approach. Not quite sure what resets it. Roger, we'll expect the it's ILS uh, 28 approach for November 1 and 28. Roger, 28 left. Okay, so we've got a little ways to go here until we intercept the 287 on this heading, but we're okay. And we're going up to 7,000 feet. How do I make my two yokes play together? So there's a little Lua script that I've written called My Airplane, Your Airplane, where if I toggle this on the yoke, these sets of controls work. And if I toggle it back this way, this set of controls work. So uh, that's how I do it, since X-Plane doesn't read both of them at the same time. Um, their father-son asking about Vulcan. My understanding is they're slowly introducing Vulcan. and. Uh, they're kind of rewriting the code for Vulcan as they go, and eventually, uh, you know, it'll be flipped on, but they're not expecting it to be flipped on, I think, until next year. I find that the code gets more efficient as we go. My frames stay pretty good as we go, and so I think over time they're incorporating more elegant code to take advantage of Vulcan, but I don't think you're going to see it until 12. Yeah, Glory Gaming, that script is on my website uh, in the resources. There's a resources tab and a couple of posts with common questions like that are listed, and I think there's one that shows um, how to have both of your uh, yokes alternate back and forth. Uh, okay, we're breaking out of the clouds. That looks kind of cool. I'll give you guys a view out the windows here. This is the Orbix scenery. There's nothing to see out this window yet. Um. Uh, approach uh, November 1 and 2 8. We have uh, information Zulu for custom weather. Uh, wondering if we can uh, go, go ahead for the uh, visual approach. November 1 1 2 8, Roger. Okay, expect visual approach on way 2 8, right? Then. That looks pretty great, doesn't it? Okay, we'll expect it looks good on 2 8, right? I'm looking at seeing you guys. It looks good. this view out this window again. This is the default clouds, but I've got some little cloud script running that's made them look a little more softer and makes it easier on uh, frames. Up to 2313, open center, descend via the surface three arrival, San Francisco, out three zero one eight. Uh, Ray, it depends on what flight model, what plane you're using. Different airplanes have different parts of their skins, you know, available for you to mess with. So without knowing what airplane you're flying, it's hard for me to know. Yeah, I find that it's great practice too, and uh, especially for instrument stuff. How's the stream quality, guys, if you could give me a sense? So what I had to do, Ray, is in the Cessna, I had to move some stuff around in terms of modifying the object to get the cow where I wanted it. I moved the wings up and back a little bit, and I moved the cow around. And, and again, there's a how-to about that. Uh-oh. There's a how-to about that on my website. OK, we're coming at 7,000. It's time for me to pay attention. Got that mixture set a little bit in Lynch Peak. And let's look for 75% power. Nose are over. Trim. Seventy-five percent, that's where we go. 
landing light off, fuel pump off. Let's run our checklist, make sure there's nothing else we're forgetting. Power set, mixture, fuel pump, airspeed, pilot sensor power. It's kind of fuel balance. Yeah, okay, we're good. This model of the SR20 flies pretty well, pretty realistically, but it doesn't trim very realistically. Like I had it trimmed there and then all of a sudden it started to climb again, which is interesting. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and brief this approach. So I'm going to risk using the autopilot. Doesn't always work the way I want it to. Like right there, it put me into a climb. Yeah, okay, it's taking us to 7,000. It's got us on heading. Okay, let's brief this approach. This is the uh, Payne, the Everett RNAV GPS Yankee runway 16. ATIS is going to be 128.65. Have that ready to go. We'll check that in a minute. Seattle approach 128.5. We're talking to them. We'll get, probably get switched over to that. We'll wait and see. Tower, we've got that ground fine. This is, uh, we're WAS out, so we're okay on the uh, WAS approach. Final approach course is going to be 163. We're going to go down to 2,000 feet. That's where our, our intercept's going to be for the final approach course. LPV 770 on this. That's going to be 200 AGL. Airport elevation 570 feet at touchdown. Missed approach climb 1,100, then climbing right turn 2,000. Let's visualize that. Okay, and then we're going to go direct to EPCO and hold, and we're going to be entering that hold on a direct entry. Not circling at night, don't have to worry about that. DME, we're okay. MSA is 7,900 feet. We'll be all right there. Looking at the plan view, uh, we'll ask for him to give us direct to IWOC rather than going and flying on the outbound all the way from the VOR. When we get there, though, we'll do a parallel entry for the procedure turn. We will be flying a procedure turn on this. And then inbound. Uh, once we're at IWOC, we'll be at 3,000 feet. On that procedure turn, we'll come down to 2,000. Then we intercept and we LPV down to our uh, decision altitude, which is uh, 770 feet. We do have a visual descent point at DME 1.1. Okay, and our visual range is going to be uh, for a uh, half mile visual, so we should be okay there. Let's just look at the most recent METAR there real quick. November 1128, contact NorCal approach 135.65. Visibility 2 miles, broken 500 overcast, so we should be okay. Or to 135.65, okay, November 128. Number 516 Delta Pike, contact Seattle approach 120.4. Uh, approach, uh, good afternoon, November 128, currently leveled at uh, 11,000, uh, descent of VAD. Uh, the program on the iPad bill is North flight, which is what I use to fly in the real world. It's my electronic flight bag and X-Plane talk to approach, Frames, uh, I'm about, five, one, six, I've got it set to get about, about 30 frames, three, zero, and with two, these three. clouds right now in these settings, I'm getting just 30 frames. No, it's not the Just Flight Cirrus. It's the one from AirNet 24, I think, something like that. It's hard for me to remember his name. I find that... Uh, it's a bit easier on frames and flies pretty close to the numbers. I have to carry a little more power in the pattern than I do in the real airplane, but the rest of it um, flies quite well. Okay, we're getting close to joining this airway. Once we do, we can go direct. Well, we're already direct. We would just fly nav. Seattle approach. I'm okay. Have the autopilot. One, one, five, this course for a I'd like to pick up my IFR clearance to Bremerton. But uh, let's go ahead and hand fly it just for the experience. November 115, Lima Whiskey, Seattle Approach. Roger, you're on the ground in Renton. Roger. Roger, Clarence on quest, standby. Clouds are looking good. Coming to our glide slope here. 
Go one one five Lima one secure to the Bremerton Airport there, for the Bellevue for departure. Red vectors low full direct. Maintain three thousand. Expect four thousand five minutes after departure. Departure frequency one two zero point four. Squawk six four seven three. Hold for release. Okay, four flight is telling me that we are. Sky have one one five Lima whiskey is clear to Bremerton via Bellevue four. Uh, radar vectors direct local. 3,000, expect 4,000 in five minutes, so 120.4 and 6473, and we'll hold for release. Five Lima Whiskey, read back, correct, advise winner number one for departure. We'll advise, thank you. Number 1128, plotting 330, vectors visual approach, descend and maintain 4,000. All right, fly heading 330, down to 4,000 for a visual, number 1128. Star for 2313, contact Northcal Approach 121.3. Give us direct eye walk. Yeah, the clouds look pretty good. They don't look as good in VR. Although sometimes North I find Cal approach VR 2313, flight level 253, descending via the arrival, information Bravo. I'll give you guys some side views here. Level 2513, North Cal approach, Roger. Expect so the ILS 28 left approach. Had to retrim it all over again. Expect the ILS 28 left approach for Delta 2313. Flickering there, not quite sure why. Okay. Finally doing in our airway here. Number one one two eight airport eleven o'clock one four miles report in sight. Cubs win. Yeah, I'm alive. November 1128, fly heading 310, descend and maintain 3000, airport 11 o'clock, 14 miles, report in sight. Roger, fly heading uh, 340 down to 3000, and we'll report it once you see it, November 1128. November 1128, fly heading 310. Uh, some cool 310, and you right head now. down to 3000 for November 1128. Affirmative. Did Mrs. Glidesup ground me? No, I've just been busy. And I've done some flights live, but I haven't been storing them online. Okay, we're in IMC now, so let's fly our instruments. Number 15, Julie Golf. Pain information, Bravo is current. Advise you have it. Expect ILS 16 right approach. Okay, we'll let you know when we have uh, the, I the uh, ATIS, and we'd like to request the uh, RNAV uh, Yankee 16 right if we could. Number 15J Golf Roger, expect our NAV Yankee approach. We'll go. We're going to switch over and get the weather now. Lewis County Airport, HS Information Bravo, 1653 Zulu, wind 1607, visibility 2, light rain, mist, ceiling 500 broken, 1100 overcast, temperature 9 or 2.8, altimeter 3022. Arriving and parting runways 16 left. R120.5. Alright, clear for visual, Norbert 2120.5, November 1028. And Seattle 15 Julie Golf is back up. Norbert 15 Julie Golf, Roger. Nope, oh, sorry, you guys are just looking out a window at a wing and clouds. Well, that's what you see out the front, too. Okay. So we're going to be making that turn in RP here in a couple minutes. About five minutes. November 1128, San Francisco Tower, wind calm, runway 28 right, clear to land.
Uh, what settings have I selected on the weather? I've just got, I'm running default, I'm running, I'm running uh, Active Sky XP, and so this is real world weather that's being injected. Yeah, that's right. As work in Wipe Wow, that's, I'm in the same boat. Feels very immersive. Um, I use both VR and the real thing. And if you go to the website, Jeremy, I've got a post there where I sort of write about that. that you can probably find with a simple search. Um, I find I enjoy VR more because it feels more like flying. But I, for practice, which is what I'm doing here, I'm trying to just practice some instrument stuff. I find this much more realistic uh, because I can do what I'm doing in the actual cockpit of the actual airplane. Okay, we're going to be given a descent here pretty soon, so let's get ready with the descent checklist. Matter of fact, mixture will be set, power will be staged, altimeters we've got, cabin feed is to set, lining light on. Let's go ahead and turn it on now. Fuel system check. I think it's looking good on fuel. Brake pressure. Yep, yeah, got pressure on the brakes. And once we get close to whatever the initial fix is they're going to send us to, we'll uh, stage our power down to 50%. Yeah, VR and X-Plane is really good. I agree. I'm fine I'm losing power. I wonder if we are, if we have ice. We're slowing down a lot. I don't want to have to have ice right now. I think I can turn that off with a failures. But that happened when I was trying to fly an approach. Yeah, we just had icing. Pretty sure of it. And. Number 1128 exit 1 able taxi via trolley to the ramp. Remain this frequency. In fact, we've got icing right now. I'm going to tell them. Hold on. Seattle 15 Julie Golf. Yeah. Number 15 Julie Golf. We've got icing, we need lower. Number 15 uh, Julia Golf, descend and maintain 5000. 5000, 15 Julia Golf, thanks. I had to slowly keep adding power. I can see the rain and snow going by. So let's just slowly take us down. We're already accelerating, that's good. Control of the airplane. Okay. And we've got airspeed back. That was fun. We're not out of the woods yet. I can see the snow going by. I'll show you guys. Or the rain. With the Pito heat. Number 15 Jay Call, flooding 360 vectors. Uh, uh, RNAV approach, descend and maintain 3000. Okay, 360. And could we have it from IWOC? We want to fly the procedure. Turn. Number 15 Jay Call, Roger, expect that. We'll go. 360, 15 Jay Call. EWOC, you're not a Star Wars fan, are you? Yeah, well, I am, so I'm humiliated. <laughs> Okay, we're coming down to 5,000. We're flying 360. Number 115 Lima Whiskey. Time now 1741. Clearance void if not airborne by 1747. Uh, she's not flying like Release we have ice anymore, which is good. Thank you, Lima Icing is modeled on this plane. I have had it happen twice in IMC. Maybe I misunderstood, mis misunderstood. 30 minutes, switch tanks, fuel pump on, coming over. Oh, 
Oh, visually, no, I couldn't see it. Yeah, that's right. It's not. It's a. This is an older flight model. But I could tell because I kept having to add power, and then we started to slow down, and uh, so I just could tell from flying the instruments. Okay, we're coming down to 5,200 to go. He's going to take us to Ewok here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get that ready to go. Okay, things are better down here at 5,000 feet. At least for now. Number 15 Julia Golf, first seat direct Ewok. Direct Ewok, 15 Julia Golf. Delta 2313, contact NorCal approach 135.65. 135.65, Okay, we're done with vectors, so we can go ahead and get ready with our heading bug, put it on the nose, and then when we get to Ewok, we're going to fly the parallel entry. NorCal approach, Delta 2313, level 8,600, Delta 2313, NorCal approach, roger, after Eddie, cleared ILS, runway 28 left approach. After Eddie cleared, ILS 28 left approach build, 2313. Power back to 75%. Seattle approach, Skyhawk 115 Lima Whiskey, climbing 900 to 3000. Number 115 Lima Whiskey, Seattle departure radar contact. Now that the ice is coming off the wings, she wants to fly. Never seen one of the ever. This the Cirrus R twenty-two. Most of the Cirruses in the real world are upon reaching three thousand. Turbo they're direct twenty-two. Local for five Lima whiskey. Naturally aspirated planes are harder to find in the real world. What Mayoke mount am I using for my iPad? It's uh, I don't remember. Um, I think it's GoFlight. GoFlight. And I think there are more affordable options out there now. But I used it in the real world training. I did too. So. Okay, we're direct E walk. We've got about seven minutes to go. Then we're going to make the parallel entry. We can go ahead and once we're on that approach, we'll go into approach mode just so the GPS is more sensitive. We're holding steady at 5,000 feet. Number 15 Jake Golf Cross Ewok at or above 3,000. Cleared on AMB and QRNA 16 right approach. Report procedure turn inbound. Okay, Cross Ewok at or above 3,000. Cleared for the RNAV uh, Yankee 16 right. Report procedure turn inbound 15 Jake Golf. Okay, so we can go down to 3,000. Let's do that. I'll actually bug 3100, give us a little cushion. And power back to 25% for the descent. And we've got IMC again. Weather looks spooky. Twenty five eight one four four Portland Clarence. November five eight one four four Portland Clarence. Third to the Bremerton Airport. Okay, let's get ready for the departure. Power. Red Avenger is battleground, and then as filed, maintain six thousand. Departure frequency one three two point nine five two four point three five. Squawk five one four five. Ready to go there. Delta 
58144, C Portland, one departure. So he cleared us the approach, so we're cleared back, to correct. get down to that altitude, and then once we're at you are Number five, Lima Whiskey, climb and maintain 4,000, and uh, find out the weather for Bremerton when able to say approach Altitudes quest. as charted without him telling us what they are. Climb 4,000, and we'll get the weather, five, Lima Whiskey. 1,200 to go to 3,000. Five minutes to Ewok. Uh, I'm using Active Sky XP for the weather, but the clouds are default clouds. I'm not using their cloud patterns, their cloud uh, textures. Hello, good to see you. Buongiorno, uh, buona, uh, buonasera, come stai? Seven hundred go. And we are not gonna need to fly that hold. We're gonna just we'll make the procedure turn. We'll cross E walk, we'll fly on a heading of uh three four three for one minute. Let's go ahead and get that dialed in. And then we'll make our turn. Seattle Press Conference timer. 5 Lima Whiskey has the weather at Bremerton, and I would like the RNAV GPS runway 20 approach. Got a little drift to the right there. There we go. November 5 Lima Whiskey, Roger. Okay, we're going to fly in at 3100 just so we don't bust our altitude. Again, we're going to hand fly the whole thing. We've been hand flying the, ever since we briefed the approach. November 58144, Portland ground, runway 10 yeah. left at Echo, taxi via Alpha. Take our power back up to 75%. That bottoms out our descent. Um, I've had it fly holds. If the holds in the if the holds in the uh, chart, I've had it do it. But maybe it was when I was using the GTN software that it did it. Father son, maybe the default doesn't do it. Cessna Five Lima Whiskey, clear direct to Gitri, cross Gitri at or above three thousand four hundred. Cleared RNAV runway two zero approach Bremerton. Five Lima Whiskey is cleared direct Gitri cross at or above 3,400, and I'm cleared for the RNAV GPS runway 20 approach. Okay, Five Lima Whiskey, okay, how we're is approach almost configured. Terminate? We're bugged. I would like to do a full stop. Power is loaded. Five Lima Whiskey, Roger. That's cool. There goes Five our. Golf, you'll be making a full stop landing as well. Affirmative. Roger. Delta 2313, contact San Francisco Tower, 120.5. 120.5, 2313. I'm not on VATSIM or IVAO, I'm on Pilot Edge. Lelo. Delta 2313, San Francisco Tower, when. One hundred zero at five or one two eight left good left. Thanks, Father Son. If you could moderate some of the questions, since you know a lot of the answers, that'd be great because I'm going to need to start focusing here. Okay, we're coming up to our initial approach fix. Let's get ready to go. Throttle back to fifty percent. Make sure full rich. Plane slowing down, landing light is on, fuel pump boost, make sure set.
Sterile cockpit, you're right, buddy. As soon as we get to this initial fix. So I might narrate a little bit, guys, but I'm not going to be looking at the chat here for a minute. Okay, so to fly this parallel hold, we're going to fly outbound on the inverse radial. That's going to be a heading of 343 for one minute. As soon as we cross Ewok, I'll zoom this in so you guys can see it. And then we'll make a left-hand turn at a standard rate, come back and intercept that. Uh-oh. Things froze for a second there. Okay, there we go. So now we'll make our parallel, start our timer for one minute. seconds. And we'll want an intercept of about 45 degrees so we can set our heading bug about there. 53 seconds. Okay, one minute. Standard rate turns about 18 degrees here in this airplane. My standard rate indicator, turn indicator, isn't working on this PFD. Delta 2313, taxi via Delta and Alpha to the ramp for maintenance frequency. Okay. And fly till we intercept. Don't go below 3,000 feet. There goes our barometric pressure again for no apparent reason. Seattle 15 Julie Golf is inbound on the RNAV uh, 16 right for uh, Olympia. We're 15 Julie Golf. Everett. Roger, contact Paint Tower. Okay, Paint Tower, 15 Julie Golf. November 581444 Portland Tower. After departure, turn right heading 110. Runway 10 off that Echo, clear for takeoff. Right at 110 after takeoff, rolling 10 left, 21. Everett Tower says 15 Julie Golf is uh, Ewok inbound RNAV 16 right, full stop. Bear 15 Julie Golf, Paint Tower, wind 150 at 6, runway 16 right, clear to land. 16 right, clear to land, 15 Julie Golf. Okay, we've November passed. November 115, no whiskey, no traffic observed okay, between you and the Bremerton Airport. Report cancellation of FR. Uh, in the air on this frequency, we're on the ground on 122.2, change to advisory frequency approved. And we are 2,000 feet to whatever I pronounce the next one. Idapi? Idapi? 
Hard to know. Tippy is our final approach fix. So we're going to be fully configured before we get there. We've got LNAV here, so we're good. LPV here, so we're good. Four hundred go down to two thousand. We can bug our missed if we need to. No, we just climb and go direct. Okay. Back up to 50% power. We want to have our flaps in though, so let's keep it at 25 and slow the airplane down. Once we're below 116, we can put in flaps 50. And I'm just not looking at the chat right now, guys, because I'm working. Okay, 116, flaps 50. There's our big climb. <laughs> it doesn't model that very accurately either. I mean, the Cirrus makes a big bump when you put the flaps in, but not quite like that. Okay, this is the one six right. Eight, four, four, so four, we're going to parallel runway as we land on the parallel runway. So twenty one four four, left heading three three zero one, able to direct battleground. Okay, we're now past final approach fix. Configured bug below. Establish. Displayed. Back to about thirty five percent in this airplane. Can't see anything. And remember, our, our MDA, our decision altitude is 770 feet. Let's bug that. Let's call it 800. Mr. Road Print is runway threshold, that's in the GPS. Come on, let's not lose our slow our localizer here. There we go. Small changes. Okay, about 600 to go. 25 at 144, traffic 2 o'clock, 3.5 miles westbound, altitude indicates 4,500, type 1 knot. One mile final. One point seven from the missed approach, if we're visual. 
but we are a decision altitude eight LPV, so we'll go if we don't get visual by 770. 300 feet. Okay, we have the runway environment. It's raining. Keep the flaps where they are. Too red, too white. Speed's good. Couple stutters. She'll land long because we don't have flaps, but that's okay. We're going to go long anyway. But we don't have full flaps. Stutters are freaking me out a little bit. A couple hops, unrealistic hops. <laughs> Those stutters made it hard to do also. Okay, we're down. We're not going to make that turn off. The next one. Number one five Julia call, thank you. Left one able to parking. Okay, we're turning left now, and you have no idea, no idea how badly I just want to say parking, but we'll go straight ahead instead. Number one five Julia call, Roger taxi via Alpha and Charlie, or straight ahead on Bravo and remain this frequency. Have a good day. Okay, straight ahead, Bravo, stay with you, 15 Julie Golf. Okay. Uh, this flight model is easy to hop like that. It doesn't steer very well. It flies great. It's just, it's an older flight model, but it's still the one I prefer. Okay, we've got that. Pito heat off, strobes off. Uh, we'll keep the strobes on. Nav's off, landing light is off, fuel pump is off, flaps are up. We'll go straight ahead on Bravo to Customs because we need one, one, five, we'll to go to Customs to get our passport received. checked. Have a great day. Then I'll open up the chat and we can, we can talk. Okay, so that was the uh, little flight from Olympia to Painfield Everett. Real world weather. IFR almost the whole way. We flew a SID on departure, which we needed because we couldn't see. It was foggy. And then the, we flew the Elm 5, and then we came in here and we asked for the RNAV 16, Yankee 16 right, which we got. And we go park over here. And uh, watch out for that car. We had an icing incident, which I did not plan, but we had to deal with, and we dealt with it. Okay, just asked for lower, turned on the pitot heat, went down as fast as we could, kept our airspeed good. And the ice came off the wings soon enough. Got of cruise in there a little fast, didn't we? <laughs> uh, uh, let me just see what we had here. Um, stroke on frame rates, hardware. Martin, it's all on the website, www.ontheglideslope.net. I'm getting about 30 frames a minute. Um, Forplight is the, is the uh, tablet software. Um, oh, this here is Air Manager, yes. Well, look at that car pulling right up to us. I guess they're going to take us someplace. I use Air Manager to, to show that. And, uh, and I've actually uploaded this uh, evo evolution of the Avidyne panel to Air Manager. It's free. You can download it if you use it. I've customized this with my own coding. Um, yeah, that's thanks, Gotham. That's, that's great. Um, thanks for the procedure turn, if I'll ever share or what. Uh, yeah, if you want that, Joel, if you want this gauge, it's online. It's on Air Manager. I uploaded it. You should be able to get it. Um, virtual flight throttle quadrant, that's true. That's exactly us. It's their TPM. Dirdoc, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I think it, it's meant to, I did it to make it feel real. That car just drove through us. 
Um, for IFR training, check rights coming up, father, son, next time I will talk about it, hopefully I've passed it. Um, I use Olive Pilot Edge, and, uh, oh, hold on, it's the young co-pilot, he's got a question. Yeah, it's up there, Joel. You should be able to find it. And uh, thanks, everybody, for checking in. I'm glad that you enjoyed the flight. I had fun doing it. And i uh, going to continue practicing uh, instrument stuff here for a long time uh, to stay as proficient as I can. Uh, Scott, yeah, now that HD TVs are inexpensive comparatively, um, I'm probably going to replace this with a TV if I can get one in here. I don't know if I can get one into this closet that I'm sitting in, but I'll try. Okay, this stuff's coming off. Um, I'm not sure, it'll have to be at least 70 inches. So uh, I'm not, I'll have to measure. I, I like being able to look out the corners and have some you know, parallax. Uh, so it's gonna have to be a big one, but even the very large ones are getting affordable, comparatively speaking. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope to see you on another flight. And if you have questions about the sim, almost everything that you would want is at www.onthegladeslope.net. And uh, if you have any questions, you're welcome to email me as well. Thanks everybody, have a good one.